Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Virgos. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Virgo. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful Soul Tribe. I appreciate you, gang gang. Thank you, Soul Family, for your continuous love and support. Your love always doesn't go unnoticed on this this platform. Thank you so much for your continuous love and support. It's always a pleasure to enjoy this experience with you and evolving right along here with you. So thank you so much, Soul Tribe. I appreciate you, all right? And welcome, Virgos, to the ones that are new here. It's also a pleasure to have you. Thank you all so much for tuning in today, all right? Definitely, if today's content fulfills your spirit, subscribe, Virgos. We would love to have you here, part of our Soul Family as well. And be sure to adjust your notification bells for when I go live on this platform. I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by there and get a check-in before you get your day started as well. All right. So no further ado, we're going to go ahead and dive into your reading today, Virgos. We're going to focus on the person here that's on your mind. We're going to see what are some things that they may want to say to you today. And most importantly, what messages do your spirit guides want to reveal to you, Virgos, when it comes to the person here that is on your mind, okay? So no further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Wow, we have the devil card here, Virgos. Capricorn energy. All right, some of y'all, this person may be a Capricorn here. Um, this is definitely indicating an experience of behavior patterns, things that are on a very frequency that is low and that has caused uh, conflicts, disagreements, I'm sure. Uh, this is an experience here, rather, if this is your person that currently is experiencing some type of connection or conflict with someone that is on this frequency vibration, or this could be between you and this Capricorn or someone that you are exchanging energies here with Virgos, all right? Let's see what else we have here. The Three of Cups, Water Elements here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy here. Some of y'all, this person is wanting to reconcile with you. Uh, someone wants to be back around and communicate with you. Someone miss being around you um, and being in your space and your energy and exchanging energies with you as well. I kind of feel like it's this person or this energy here that you may have had some conflicts here with in the past. Okay, let's see what else. Yep, the five of pentacles here. This talks about um, financial loss, hardship, and this also talks about someone feeling left out in the cold here. So whomever this energy here with, obviously that was doing things in this behavior pattern, I feel like you put this person off to the side, more like you separated yourself from this person, Virgos. You did not no longer want to exchange energies with this person due to their behavior patterns here that became very unhealthy and very toxic eventually here, okay? So I see this person wanting to reconcile with you with the Three of Cups because they've been feeling left out in the cold here or due to whatever previous financial loss that they may have currently experienced here as well, okay? Yep, and I see you protecting your space and your energy here. I see you making sure not to allow this energy to come across you in any type of disrespectful form, fashion here. I do see you, Virgos, protecting your space and your energy and making sure to avoid any type of contact or communication here, Virgos, with this person. And we also got the three of wands because you have decided to move on. You decide to turn your back towards this situation here and you're going to go after what you feel like that you are deserving of here, Virgos, okay? Some of y'all, this person could have also been a water sign a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Others of you all, this could have been an Earth sign like yourself, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo here. And we also have fire elements here, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here that some of you all exchange energies with this person here. Yep, and at the bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Swords, which means everything that I've said here today, it's all the truth, all right? Let's get some clarity for some of the cards here that we have in front of us. 
to get more insight and details on this particular person and energy here that you have exchanged energies here with in the past. Some of you all, this is definitely confirmation on where you're at right now with this individual and this person here and where you're headed and moving forward to in the near future. All right. Um, and I'm also showing here that this is someone that you could have been married to or could have been in a commitment with this person. Um, someone could have even had children with this person here as well. All right, let's clarify the devil card too. Wow, Virgos, if the reading is resonating with you so far, be sure to hit that like button. All right, show my guardian angels and ancestors some love for the deliverance of the message here for you today. Smash that like button as you all come in, please. Thank you. Clarify the devil card here. Let's get more insight on this energy here with the devil card here. Tell me more about this energy that's in the devil card, please. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. Again, some of y'all, this could be an earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles energy here, please, and thank you. So this Capricorn energy here, or Taurus energy, or whomever is in this energy as an ex of yours, okay? They're wanting to definitely reconcile with you, but bring in a solid offer this time around. We got the Queen of Swords here. That's you kind of informing this person that, you know, I'm going to continue to set me some boundaries here. I'm not wanting to, you know, accept this offer is what I'm picking up here for some of you all when it comes to you stepping into that masculine energy here into that queen of swords energy here and directing this message here to this person page of swords they do watch you virgos okay they do keep tabs on you they do wonder what you're doing who you're doing something with yep we got the hard fun here for commitment so this person has been trying to offer you another opportunity at a commitment here and I definitely see you all have shut this person down. You are deciding not to put any effort, any time, or any love, no more, into this connection here with this person due to this person not being honest with you and possibly stepping out on the marriage or stepping out on this relationship here. Clarify the Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups. Wow, this is resonating for you, Virgos. Again, smash that like button, all right? If you would love to book a personal reading, Virgos, my email details is down below in the description box if you would like to see what the future outcome is for you in the future. We got the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, you found out this person was involved with another woman or another man. Take it how it resonates for you. This could be a queen or a king here. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Thank you for an angel for the messages. Clarify the five of pentacles, please. Why do we have the five of pentacles here? The seven of cups, an illusion. This person tried to manipulate you to allow you to feel or know that this relationship was going to be not what you expected here. Uh, they may have used forms of manipulation through your feelings and emotions to try to get you to do things that you did not agree to or to do things to allow this person to work in this person's favor and benefit this person here. Others of you, this person has realized that you now have other offers and opportunities with the Seven of Cups here as well. Clarify the Seven of Wands here, please. For Virgo's energy here, clarify the Seven of Wands. We got the Two of Wands here. Yep, you decided again to make a choice to go after what you feel like that you're going to be deserving of. Some of y'all have chose to be with a fire sign here, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. We also got the King of Cups here, water elements. Some of y'all, this place could be a Scorpio here. It's something or someone else that you don't found yourself falling in love with. For some of you all as well, Virgos, that you're choosing to be with versus this ex or this person from your past. Some of y'all found love somewhere else. Clarify the Three of Wands. 
outside the three of wands for my Virgo placements. Yep. Someone else done came along that fulfills you. Some of y'all, this person could be a water sign, a cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. And you are in love with this person. And so are they. Damn, look at that. The Ace of Cups. So you got a new beginning coming towards you with someone that's going to be giving you unconditional love. Not this fake love over here. The person that you rejected here in the Four of Pentacles energy. But someone that's going to give you unconditional love. And this is coming from the universe. A gift of love from the universe. Wow, Virgos. I love it. Let's see what this person here wants to say. All right. Let's see what do you need to know about this person. We're going to close out with, again, using my famous Raw Tarot index cards here. Again, if you would love to book a personal reading to see definitely what this potential outcome here is with this Ace of Cups, I would love to pull some Love Romance Angel decks and some more decks out on that energy to see what the potential outcome for you two are. Again, my email details is down below in the description box, all right? Wow, look at here. We have, they don't make me feel like you, Virgos, okay? Yeah, this is where I feel like some of y'all have met someone new and you both have realized through your obstacles and challenges that this was all happening for a reason. Because had none of this would have happened, you two may would have not met each other, right? You kind of reflect back, I feel, Virgos, on your past experience with this ex here. And you now have took all that you've learned through that experience and you're implementing and you're applying it to this new person, this new opportunity that you're walking right into. And you realize and this person realize that they don't make me feel like Virgo make me feel. Right? I love it. And then we have I'm telling the truth. Right? I feel like some of you all, again, this person from your past with that Three of Cups energy here is wanting to reconcile with you. They're wanting to be honest with you. And they're wanting to tell the truth. Okay? But... For some of y'all, unfortunately, it's already too late because you've already moved on with someone else. And this is what this person, I feel like, is feeling left out in the cold due to that, all right? But, you know, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, okay? But, wow, Virgos, this is what we have for you. I definitely hope this help gave you confirmation and clarity on what you were already picking up intuitively here. And I definitely wish you and this person the best, all right? Again, if you would love to book a personal reading, my email details is down below in the description box. Also, if you would love more content from the channel here, we invite you to come over to Patreon where I can have that more one-on-one -on -one experience with you, where I do provide early access to my readings that I post on this channel. I also provide energy check-ins every day for the Zodiac signs as well. You also get weekly astrology reports, weekly oracle messages, and free questions every time I go live for my Patreon family as well. All right, so definitely if that's something that you're interested in, that link for Patreon and the OnlyFans page is on the homepage, all right? Thank you all so much for being here and listening in today, and I definitely look forward to your next reading, all right? I love you, Virgos. Bye-bye.